All right, one feature we offer to members of T-Shirt Design Club is the ability to use these Photoshop mock-up templates. These are designed to help your marketing efforts by creating T-Shirt mock-ups that are more likely to stand out, especially on social media. This is geared to help your brand get more organic traffic and hopefully lower your cost of advertising as well. All of these things should increase profitability. Once again, these go beyond the basic white t-shirt uh, on a black canvas type designs that you see so often. And once again, all of these are fully editable. So that means you can place any design, whether it's a design that you download from T-Shirt Design Club or one that you already have in your library as well up onto these templates and you can do it as many times as you'd like. So the first thing you're going to want to do is choose your template. After you download this template, simply open this template up with Photoshop. Once the template is open in Photoshop, double click on this section right here. This is where you're going to place your design. If it asks you to resolve the text, don't worry about it. That's just for the placeholder here. First thing you're going to want to do is get rid of this placeholder simply by clicking on this eyeball. Then you can drag and drop any design you'd like into this layer right here. So make sure that layer is selected. Go ahead and drop that right into that layer. You can resize it if you'd like. You can reposition it if you want. Then when you're happy with where it's at, simply click the check mark. Then you want to save that layer. After you save that layer, if you go back to the original design, and you can see your design has been placed on this shirt. Then you can simply uh, save this as a JPEG or PNG or whatever type file you want. And there is your mockup. The other thing you can do with these mockup templates is change the color. If you don't like the color of the shirt or want something different, simply click on this, double click on this section right here and you can make the t-shirt any color you'd like. If you want it on a white t-shirt, simply click over to the white and click OK. Now you have changed the color of this t-shirt as well. Now if you're using designs with white lettering, you are going to have an action that is going to make it look more realistic. And I'll guide you through the process right now. If you go back to the t-shirt design club template library here, you can download this Photoshop action by simply clicking on this button right here. Once you download that action, that's going to be then placed in Photoshop and you'll only have to do that once. Once you load that action into Photoshop, it'll always be there. So let's show you how that works right here. So if we don't like this uh, design, we wanna do something different, we can just go ahead and get rid of that, add a new layer, and then we will go ahead and drag and drop our other design onto this new layer. And once again, for this example, we'll use a completely white design. Once again, hit the check mark, go ahead and click file and save this layer. If we go back to the original design, you will see that we cannot see this design. Even if we change the color of the shirt, it is not going to show up. Once again, this is so we get a realistic looking mock-up. So we wanna run that action. To load Photoshop actions, if you're not familiar, simply click on the window tab and click on actions. From there, you can load a new action by clicking on this button. And the way to do that is simply clicking on load actions. You can choose the action that you just downloaded from T-Shirt Design Club. Double click and get that loaded in. Once that is loaded, it will always be there for you. Highlight the mock-up action and hit the play button. That'll automatically run it. And there we have white lettering mock-up on a T-Shirt that looks realistic. If we didn't run that action, it would be too bright. It would just look too fake. So this is the best way to get high quality mock-ups. Once again, if you want to change the color, we can do that as well simply by double clicking on that layer. Now, one thing you may have noticed when we were looking at the templates, if we scroll down that far, is we have these models, but we also have this design as well. I'll just run you through this and show you some of the features with these settings really quickly. So once again, if you wanted to download this one, simply click download and open that in Photoshop. Just like the previous example, if you wanna change the design, simply do it the same way. Double click on that. Don't worry about resolving. Go ahead and get rid of this one right there. You can add a new layer. Go 
go ahead and drag and drop your image right into the screen here. This particular one has a area template. So what you could do is you could click on this box right here and you actually have to do that before you load your image. And this will show you where the t-shirt is going to be positioned after you save this. So once again, we just go ahead and load this on to our canvas here. And then you can move this around so it's actually positioned where you want it in the t-shirt. Once it's looking good and exactly where you want it, hit the check mark. Make sure you get rid of that uh, style guide or outline guide. And then of course click file and save. Now if we go back to our original, you will see that our design is placed on the t-shirt. And as you can see, you're going to get the nice texture here. It looks realistic. Now these elements here can be controlled individually. For instance, if you like the looks of this, but you didn't like the way the sunglasses look, you could simply get rid of them. You can get rid of everything you'd like. You can leave the flip flops and the starfish if you want, whatever you want to do. And then you would just simply click file, save this as a JPEG or PNG file. And there is your high resolution, high quality mockup to help your marketing efforts. The other thing you can do with these scene style design templates or mockup templates is change the background. If you want to change the background here, we have this little boardwalk or beechwood background right now. Simply scroll down to the bottom get rid of the ones that you don't want. We have some preloaded background designs, the fire, the, the beach or sand as well. And then of course you can do any color you want. If you just want to do a background color simply by clicking on this and then just changing the color like you do with the changing the color of the t-shirt. Now you're going to notice here if we get rid of this beach ball, Again, you're going to see no matter what you change the background to, you're still going to have this nice shading. So it's going to make it look more realistic. It's really going to pop in your marketing. If you want another background design altogether, very easily, simply go over to somewhere like Pixabay and check background images or search for background images. Uh, these are all free images that you can use. Go ahead and choose whichever one you'd like. Go ahead and download that image. Once again, Pixabay is uh, free to use. Once you have your image downloaded, you can simply place it in the uh, template here. Go ahead and size it appropriately. And hit the check mark to drop it. And there we go. Now we have an interesting background, hopefully to draw more attention to our t-shirt.